Hi, I'm Emma here at the BAFTAs Cymru with Cardiff Uni TV. Hi, Hugh, how are you feeling tonight? Very good, very excited to be here. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So you're excited to be here in Cardiff? I am. Cardiff is home and it's nice to be in St David's Hall. Excellent. How do you feel about the Welsh BAFTAs being here in Cardiff especially? It's great, isn't it? It's our capital city. There's a lot of talent across the whole of Wales, north and south. It's a massive TV film industry. There's a lot of really talented people up for awards tonight, so it's exciting. Very good. Any favourites for any of these awards? Ooh, I'm not sure. I'm excited about seeing people like um, uh, Ellis James, who's a comedian. He's presenting an award. He's really good. Um, Kizzy Crawford is playing, so I'm excited about the music. But in terms of winners, there's a makeup artist called Shan Grigg who's winning the Shan Phillips Award, one of the special awards. And she, um, it's the first time a makeup artist has been awarded, you know? So uh, that's really exciting, I think. And she does Leonardo DiCaprio's makeup. He asks for her. So, uh, yeah. Amazing. Got any favourites for tonight? Um, myself. Uh, he's pretty good. About it really excellent what would you do if you won tonight what's your like best way to celebrate I won't I, I um what, I, how will I celebrate I don't really know probably end up in Chippy Lane with Charlotte Church singing <laughs> hi Sean we're with Cardiff Uni TV how are you tonight Good, thank you amazing how excited are you that the BAFTAs are in Cardiff this evening well it's lovely it's nice and local <laughs> So you've done a lot of work in The Revenant. Oh, we've heard um, from Hugh tonight that Leo specifically asks for you. How do you feel about that? Well, it's lovely. It's nice working with the same people all the time. You know, I work with lots of people, so it's always nice to see the same faces and feel comfortable. So you've been working on the library suicides that's come out and you played two roles. You played identical twins. How was that for you? Was that like a new acting challenge? Yeah, it was. I'd never done it before. Um, I was lucky to have another actress acting opposite me to be my sort of double. So I did have something to. I did have something to bounce off. But um, it was a big challenge in switching from one role to the other. But um, the characters were very different in personality, and I worked on the physicality and voice. So it was really interesting to try and go in between the both in one scene. I am good, thank you very much. Very excited. I always love BAFTA Cymru. It's a, it's a fantastic celebration of all that's best in the Welsh film and television industry, so it's a, it's a really great night. As you know, we're from Cardiff Uni TV, so we're all university students. And do you have any particular advice to young people who want to get involved with the media, just want to follow their dreams? Oh, get involved, do what you're doing, do what you're doing, do what you're doing, get involved, um, learn as much as you can, absorb as much as you can, ask people for opportunities, they can only say no, ask as many people as you can, I'd say. No, I mean, no, I, I think the most important thing with anything, whether it's like writing or directing or becoming an actor or getting into the industry, I think the thing I've learned the most is to just do whatever you want to do. like like being yourself and trying to use as much of your DNA in, in anything that you put forward is good. So we've asked a few other women tonight, what would be your top advice to sort of young women who want to get involved in the media, who want to get involved in the arts, what's your advice to them? I think the thing you have to remember is that there are plenty of good makeup artists out there. What you have to do is do the jobs nobody else wants to do to make yourself indispensable. So making tea is a good place to start and um, just being prepared to do the, not expect to do makeup straight away to be prepared to work and do the jobs that they need to make their lives easier rather than go straight in and do makeup i'd say especially when you start out young you're sort of wanting to do everything and i think just having an awareness of um as a woman that there are boundaries and you can say what you think if you don't feel comfortable in doing something um and we were talking about it the other day, me and my friend, just that we feel like if a woman sometimes apologises when they want to give their point across or when they want have a really strong point to say, they sort of apologise for it, whereas men are 
are sort of more allowed to be like, I want to have a meeting with you. Whereas a woman would say, is it okay if I have a meeting? So I think just being straight and direct and strong and um, yeah, knowing your worth. Well, talking about women in the industry, there are lots of opportunities. You know, when I work on Wales today and, and the majority of the production team actually are female. So there are, it's great for women. Um, and I would say be determined. You know, lots of people say it's a tough industry to get into, and it can be, but, but so are lots of industries. And I think if you're determined, you keep knocking those doors, you have to push yourself forward a little bit, so don't be shy. But there are, those opportunities are there, and, and if you really want it badly enough, you can make it happen. So it's been a great night tonight at the Baftas Cymru. We're still here on the red carpet, and it's been Emma McGuigan for Cardiff Union TV. Thank you.